Our SABC uh, colleague, Criselda Lewis, is at the court. Criselda, a very good morning to you. Uh, you've been following this case uh, right from inception. What can you tell us today? Well, a very good morning uh, to you, Desiree. Day two of uh, sentencing in the case against uh, former crime intelligence boss uh, Richard Mdluli and his co-accused, as you pointed out, Mtemeni Mtunzi. That will continue here in uh, the Johannesburg uh, High Court. So yesterday, the presiding judge uh, described uh, both as having abused uh, state resources and appeared to have been unremorseful throughout the trial itself. So as you indicated, last year Mdluli and Mtunzi were convicted on uh, two counts of uh, assault, two counts of kidnapping and two uh, of assault with intent to to do grievously bod grievous bodily harm. So the case, of course, as you indicated, relates to the assault of Mkhuli's customary wife, Tidi Butelezi, and uh, her boyfriend, Opa Ramukhibe, in 1999, 1998, I beg your pardon. Butelezi died uh, from an illness uh, while Ramukhibe was gunned down in 1999. So yesterday, uh, the presiding judge, uh, Rata uh, Mukhateng, said uh, when Mkhuli and Mtunzi uh, took uh, an oath to protect uh, inhabitants of society, uh, their behavior was unbecoming of the oath that they took. And and that, uh, you know, police were expected to act in a disciplined manner at all times with due regard uh, to citizens, in particular for those in their care. And uh, essentially, uh, basically saying they were meant uh, to be guardians of peace. Uh, the court also uh, yesterday heard uh, uh, that uh, the testimony by the probation officer that Mdluli and Mtunzi had uh, issues, uh, uh, you know, anger issues, simply wouldn't hold. That is what uh, the judge basically said yesterday. An epidemiologist was also due to take the stand. Uh, but we heard very early on uh, yesterday morning that uh, the uh, defense could not find an epidemiologist uh, to testify uh, or give evidence in this particular matter. And instead, yesterday, a correctional services officer took the stand uh, where he told the court uh, that proper COVID-19 protocols had been put in place at correctional facilities uh, to ensure minimised risk. Uh, but the defence uh, was quite quick uh, to point out, you know, that the uh, statistics of the infections presented in this court uh, did not have the ages of those infected. How this is quite crucial is because you'd recall that prosecutors have been calling for jail time while Mkhuli wants uh, a non-custodial sentence, uh, calling for leniency due to vulnerability uh, relating uh, to COVID-19. You would know that Mr. Mkhuli is uh, 62 years old. So essentially today we're expecting uh, the presiding judge uh, to complete uh, uh, that sentence. Uh, certainly uh, something, I guess, that uh, in both instances uh, where uh, the matter has been dra dragging on for a couple of years, uh, the Ramukhibe family that has been here throughout, including yesterday, were hoping that the matter would be concluded. So they're, they're really hoping today there'll be some, some kind of uh, finality in this particular issue. Desiree. Griselda, just uh, as you mentioned, it's, it's been a long-running case. How much interest is there in the case, uh, have you found? Well, Desiree, not throughout the entire trial itself. There had been quite a number of delays here and there. And uh, now that the case itself uh, is, uh, is, is going to reach uh, a finality, uh, you know, there's quite huge interest in this particular matter. Remember, this is someone who we're talking about who headed intelligence uh, in South Africa. This is also something that was pointed out by the presiding uh, judge yesterday that uh, in this particular matter, uh, um, uh, Mr. Richard Mkhuli, of course, uh, had been uh, the... He's a, currently the former uh, crime intelligence boss. So huge interest, of course, pertaining uh, to this particular matter, uh, given that it involved this uh, particular issue. And judging by what, uh, you know, the judge uh, had alluded to in part of uh, uh, giving uh, down that sentence yesterday, which will conclude today, is where he indicated, of course, that in this particular aspect, you're not dealing uh, with just, uh, you know, uh, police officers who basically started off in this particular uh, sector, but these are experienced uh, 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 police officers, in particular Mr. Richard Mkhuli, who is the former crime intelligence boss. What time can we expect proceedings to begin? Desiree at uh, 10 o'clock uh, this morning, uh, and uh, we're expecting to take it live here on the SABC News Channel for our viewers uh, who would also like uh, to follow us on our social media pages. They can certainly do so, uh, and uh, on uh, our YouTube channel as well.
Absolutely. Thank you so much. Criselda Lewis there from the High Court and we'll be taking you there live as soon as proceedings begin.